Today on Uplearn Features, we're learning about Bertha Parker. Bertha Parker was an indigenous American descended from both the Abenaki and Seneca tribes. As the first female archaeologist who was an indigenous American, Bertha published many papers and uncovered a very important fossil. Additionally, Bertha spent the latter part of her life working in Hollywood in the film industry, which she thoroughly enjoyed. Born in a tent at the site of her father's expedition, Bertha developed a natural talent for archaeology. It was on these sites that Bertha spent many of her formative years helping out her father whilst developing an array of archaeological skills. At the age of 20, Bertha was offered her first paid archaeological job by Mark Harrington. She quickly accepted, becoming the expedition secretary. This meant long, tiring days of photographing finds, recording many details and ensuring everyone was fed. On top of all this, Bertha loved archaeology so much that she would try to squeeze in some exploring time for herself. On one particular night at the Gypsum Cave expedition, Bertha put on her dust mask and made her way into the cave. Here, she noticed an unusual flat rock, which she moved out of the way. Behind it was a crevice containing a fossilised skull. This was to be the most important find of the expedition. The fossil was sent back to a paleontologist at Caltech, who confirmed it to be from a ground sloth. Ground sloths have been extinct in North America for at least 10,000 years. They're estimated to have weighed over 400 kilograms and were herbivores. Further digs in the area uncovered human tools, including arrowheads, providing evidence that humans had been in North America for at least 10,000 years and coexisted with the ground sloth. In fact, both humans and ground sloths spent time in the gypsum cave, but it cannot be said for certain that the two species interacted. Harrington recalls Bertha's find as a very important discovery because it generated publicity, which in turn brought additional funding and prestige to the expedition. Why did a single fossil generate such fuss? Well, in 1930, when the skull was discovered, there was a hot debate between scientists about just how long ago humans migrated into North America. A new theory of migration, the Bering Strait theory, proposes that humans crossed into the Americas via a land bridge from Asia around 13,000 years ago. Many thousands of years ago, the Earth entered an Ice Age period. Glaciers formed and sea levels dropped. The lowering of sea levels caused a land bridge between the continents of Asia and America to be exposed. Scientists theorise that humans utilised this land bridge, known as the Bering Strait, to migrate into the Americas. The Bering Strait is no longer visible, as at the end of the Ice Age the glaciers melted and the sea level rose. Bertha's fossil discovery of a ground sloth skull dated to be at least 10,000 years old, alongside man-made objects, provided support to the Bering Strait theory as it proves that humans were living in North America at least 10,000 years ago. As Bertha grew older, she began to develop her skills in anthropology whilst working at the Southwest Museum in Los Angeles, conducting interviews with other indigenous people, documenting the culture, traditions, history and folklore of their tribes. From 1930 to 1960, Bertha carried out this work publishing what she learnt about the different tribal communities. Unlike other academics at the time, Bertha was sensitive to her interviewees and would redact names if asked, and give co-authorship. Later in life, Bertha returned to Hollywood and hosted a TV show about indigenous history with Iron Eyes Cody her third husband. Bertha also worked to ensure the respectful portrayal of indigenous Americans in film and was a consultant on many Hollywood productions. At the time of her death in 1978, Bertha had recognition 
both in the archaeological and acting worlds. However, in mainstream sources, Bertha's work was often recorded in relation to her male relatives, rather than with her own name. In fact, even her gravestone has the engraving Mrs. Iron Eyes Cody, rather than her own name, Bertha Parker. Fortunately, in more recent years, People are working to ensure Bertha Parker's memory is not forgotten and an award has been set up in her name at the Society for American Archaeology.